Breaker, breaker, this here's Tall Top Travis rolling down the blacktop on the 10-4. Anyone got their ears on out there? How's the hammer looking up ahead? Travis, what the f are you talking about? Talk like a human being. Say, where are you? Well, this is pre-satnav truck driving, and I took a wrong turn, so I'm like at least five hours in the wrong direction. I'm gonna try and cut past Silent Hill. Damn! Well, maybe if you weren't such a nut job with dead parents, you get laid once in a while. The static cut out the spoiler about your backstory I said there? No. Drive us out, dick. Hey, I like fully saw you, you know. Gyromancy! Whatever. Ow. Owie. Oh, hey, it's a little girl, burnt beyond recognition. I'm sure rescuing her won't have any consequences for the entire town. <laughs> well, that was convenient. Otherwise, I'd have no way back downstairs. Wait, where's the girl? Okay, you're safe now. Ow. Hey, can someone get this uh, girl? I got a delivery to make. Well, I tried. Good night, everybody. Oh, so that's why the Silent Hill Siren sounds like that. Neat. Oh, man, my head. Who the hell dumps an unconscious man on a bench? That girl's probably dead. But just in case she isn't, I better go check on her. I'm sure they'll let a random stranger in to see a patient he doesn't know, right? What are you doing over there? Never you mind. Just go about your business. As you were. Hey, have you seen a little girl? Short, no hair, just burned severely last night? No. F*** off. Well, if that isn't an open invitation to wander the hospital freely, I don't know what is. Excuse me, miss? <laughs> that was a perfectly rational response to a convulsing nurse that wasn't responding to me. Right? Hey, you're that girl from the fire. Maybe. I mean, I have no frame of reference since she looked like a crispy potato and there were no photos of her in that house. Shut the f up and touch the handprint! Well, touching a bloody handprint on a mirror is a perfectly rational thing to do. Huh. That's a fine how do you do. And what happens if I touch it again? Well, that kind of takes all the tension out of the other world. I don't know. I assume this is what happens when I die. Seriously, there's a truck horn sound effect when you die in this game. It's weird. Come on. Just a little more. Damn it! Alright, attempt 69,420. Damn it! This, I'm going to NAM. Whoa, what the hell is that thing? There you are. Come on, you. You're a common enemy, not a boss fight. What are you gonna do with that thing? None of your business. Okay. Guess I'm collecting these. And you. What was that thing? It was a lazy rehash from Silent Hill 2. Okay, fair enough. But wait, there's a second Silent Hill? Uh, hey, want to hear a funny sound? No! <laughs> Nerd. Waiting for someone? Ah, scary nurse! Oh man, 
Now I'm down to just three portable TVs. I'm sorry, ma'am. Kind of dealing with a nurse problem. Probably something to do with the fire I was at last night. The fire that killed that poor girl? So tragic. Oh, she definitely died? I guess I'm off the hook. See ya. I best be going, too. I'm meeting Dr. Kaufman at the Cedar Grove Sanatorium to discuss my random country accent. Good for you. Here it is on the map, in case you're interested. Why would I be interested? Just gotta pop a little red circle so you remember. Well, bye! Oh, sh**. Wrong helmet. Excuse me a sec. See? Totally new creation. I've never actually met you, so... I guess? Ugh, I wasn't talking to you, Joe Dirt. Hey, you were at the burning house briefly. Why, yes. It was my house and my daughter, Travis Grady, age 23, blood type. How do you know who I am? You dropped your driver's license. Oh heavens, is that the time? I have gyros that need man-seeing elsewhere. Hmm. These bits of story I'm piecing together and these notes I'm finding everywhere sounds awfully familiar. <sighs> From the top, Helen. What do we do when we see our son? Easy. Kill them because he's the devil. God f***ing damn it, Helen! I am on my last f***ing nerve here! You know I can just step through that mirror into their world and leave whenever I want, right? Write that down, it'll make a great game mechanic one day. Also, when are you going to bring me my boy? The boy you intend to murder? Gonna have to take a rain check on that. <laughs> Moms, am I right? Lisa, you're here too. No sh Sherlock. I told you I was coming here. Is it all scary and rusty everywhere for you as well? It's so sad. She just wants her boy so badly. Who, Alessa? Ugh. Yes, Travis. Alessa, the seven-year-old girl wants her son. Do you even Okay, listen. Jeez. Hey, Mom. Dad said you were dead, but you're clearly alive, so... It's 3 p.m. Should I give up on breakfast? Travis, you're a f***ing disappointment. I'm gonna kill you now. Well, not me, but like a monster version of me. Hey, another doohickey. Hey, little girl, can I get like a f clue about what's going on here, please? Best I can do is the blank stare. Take it or leave it. Oh, s***! This is my jam! The Artaw Theater, huh? I guess finding a random ticket for a place is a good enough reason to go somewhere. You again! The door was open, so I just let myself in. Pretty sure you physically can't get in here without a ticket. You know, I always wanted to be an actress. But nursing is in my blood. Come on, Travis, let's run away together. Hard pass. I bet you thought I wanted to run away with you, didn't you? Acting. Do you want some crack? Yes, God, yes, it's all I want all the time! Booga booga booga! Nice opinion. One small issue, however. Portable TV! <laughs> Gonna have to be careful and ration my last few portable TVs. I'll switch to filing cabinets from now on. <laughs> yeah, take that! Night, peace, homie! You need these, don't you? If you're offering, I won't say no. All right, time to go, Travis. Uh, fine. But can we maybe not have the siren this- Pussy. Huh. 
a motel key. Guess that's where I'm going next. The patented Travis Gray to go to the source of random sh you find on the floor system is infallible. Hey, this gun looks pretty realistic. This is a fully functioning assault rifle just mounted to a cardboard stand in a bookstore. God bless America. I have locked the keys to the exit in the cash register. The combination is your apartment number. Well, that's a perfectly normal thing to do. Alright, who took my gun? Huh. This motel still has our stay registered from 15 years ago. And not like in the archives or anything, the book that is actively on the front desk. Woof. Business must be slow. Oh, neat. Halal Eldritch Abomination Meat. Can I get two and a half pounds to go? Oh, so in addition to being derivative, you're also incredibly stupid. Eat portable TV! <laughs> this thing cut up on those monsters like butter. What a dangerous weapon. Better get rid of it so it doesn't hurt anyone else. You guys banging. A three-way Lisa? With him? We talked about this. Did you even try to get a hold of Burt Reynolds? Travis, you need to leave town. I'm trying. Try harder. Literally all the roads out of town are collapsed. Try harder. -er. That's what I said. Hmm. I could just climb into this waist-high pool to grab the item, or... Or... Finally, the key to the room where my dad hung himself, causing me severe mental trauma. Wait, why do I want this so badly again? Why did you just stand there, Travis? You knew I wasn't sleeping. I was a kid. I'm gonna whoop your ass, son. <laughs> well, no, I can't. Because I'm a manifestation of your guilt over my death. God damn it, this sucks. Travis, why couldn't you imagine me banging your mother or a fat prostitute or something instead of me hanging by the neck? Man, killing manifestations of my parents sure is therapeutic. Hey, can you rustle up a monster in my Uncle Jim? I always hated that guy. Also, when do we get to look inside your sick little mind? In the first game, Silent Hill. Oh. Wait. Game? Siren time! God damn it! <sighs> you know, say what you want about these horrors beyond man's comprehension. At least they always make sure I wake up on a bench or a chair, not the floor. Oh, hey, it's the final piece of this... thing. That was convenient. Now, to put it together, I guess? <laughs> sure, that might as well be a puzzle. Hey, yo! Thanks for restoring my power, G! Respect! I'm gonna go f shit up now! Huh. That's a problem, right? God damn it! Look what you did, Travis! You gave my daughter Cheesy Dragon Ball Z powers! Look, lady, I just want out. I smash things with portable TVs until things happen. Don't really care how I get there. You want out? Well, too bad. Here she comes. Soon she will birth a god. Wait, so is she coming to kill everyone, or is she going to birth God? Yes? Uh, look over there! Oh, man! You see what I mean? 
That is so cringe! I'm surprised to see you. We had assumed you'd just leave. I'm trying! Good night, Mr. Grady. Okay, he's asleep. Let's just leave him there instead of killing him, because... Uh... Dahlia, you got one for this? A demon is harbored inside him, and his death will unleash it and kill us all! Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, let's roll with that. Hey, Satan. Eat lead! Wait, I'm not saying- <laughs> Floros, go! Gotcha! Oh man, a docile nature? Uh, time for a reset. Huh. I'm back in my truck. Well, that's a lot of parking tickets. And the batteries did, because I left the engine running. All those Mexicans I was smuggling must be... Dead. Well, sh**. This ice I was transporting is a bus, too. But I'm gonna be a vague, mysterious driver for Silent Hill from now on. Ah, teenage pregnancy. God bless America. As I drive in my pickup through these foggy streets, I pass a house that's on fire when there's a girl wrapped up in sheets. Burn like Freddy Krueger, left too long in the oven. She has the food, they're a mama at the wheels of a coven. And get this, they wanna bring back a god, taking over all creation, make the world a facade. But they don't know nothing about me, I don't put up with curses. Cause I'm armed with my TVs and I toss them at nurses. I'm the baddest mother trucker when the sirens are humming. I put down creepy karma, stop the apocalypse coming. A lesson with a mess up, split a soul right in two. No girl, don't hand your stuff to me, I want neither with you. I got my own mommy issues, trying to work out my life. Ain't got no time for Eldritch Bull, giving me lots of strife. Hey, they got no chill, what is the deal? Guess when you live inside a hill, scary stuff gets real. Ooh. We've been spending a long time living in a lesser's paradise. It's all kinds of crazy wrong, had to use her in a sacrifice. And now shit is going down, pack your kids and run, take my advice. Or you're trapped in this city town, struggling in a lesser's paradise. We've been spending all our time living in a lesser's paradise. It's all kinds of crazy wrong, had to use her in a sacrifice. And now shit is going down, pack your kids and run, take my advice. Or you're trapped in this city town, struggling in a lesser's paradise. We would like to make an apology to Stevie Wonder for messing up his music. Stevie Wonder, we love you. We would also like to apologize to Coolio. Coolio R.I.P. Didn't expect to lose you so soon. You wouldn't have liked this song anyway. We'd also like to apologize to Weird Al. Weird Al, we love you. Okay, that's it. Peace out. Oh, hey. S someone just left a baby on the road. Aw, oh, you're just the cutest little neglected baby ever. Oh, Harry, we'll call her Cheryl. Okay, wow. Not even reporting it to the police first. And hey, if she ever somehow reincarnates as another child, we'll call her Heather. What? Meanwhile... Half the soul is lost. Nah. I got this one, Chief. We'll use a summoning spell to bring back the other half. That's gonna take like seven years. I'm not as invested in this as you. Tough sh**. Well, 
I won't be needing this fashionable coat and these heels where I'm gyrating.